balancing. How do you how do you do this thing? Balancing is something. That's how I was. The damn sitting there like this. That's how you were last night. Yeah, that's how I was last night. <laughs> like leaning oh like leaning towel. I almost ended up in the girls' bathroom. They caught me. Dude, hey, I'm like, hard. oh, <laughs> I was like, man, it's like gummy. This thing is heavy though. No wonder you have to run and work out. Top of the morning, friends and family. How are you wonderful, beautiful people doing today? Welcome to part two of the Tinley Reptile Show. You're probably wondering, where was part one? Part one is gonna come second. It'll make sense when you see it, don't worry about it. But today we're gonna walk around, we're gonna focus on all the cool animals at the show. We're gonna check out different animals people have. That's gonna be the focus of today's video, get it? First, we're gonna start off with this thing right here. Look at that beast. Won this at the auction last night. And from what I understand, just eating the head alone is quite a feat. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna kill myself today eating this thing or I'm gonna pass it off on some other people to kill themselves eating this thing, but I don't know. Leave a comment down below. Do you think you could eat that head in one sitting? Did you eat it, Jimmy? I eat it. You would eat it? Oh, yeah. So I wasn't supposed to get anything this weekend, but I found something that I really wanted. This is an extremely rare Baroness Uwanoi, the tricolor monitor. You can see the beautiful tail. They're not super friendly, but uh, this is a species not brought into the country anymore, so I'm really excited. So Princess Poppy is a silver sabin that was brought into Friends of Scales actually as a corn snake at Sewer Fest one of the years. So she was turned in, they didn't know what they had, and she was brought into the rescue where she was given some treatment and then she was adopted out by one of our board members. Now she makes an awesome educational animal at Princess Scales. Dude, you I didn't know you were a professional like that. I mean, you know, I don't know a lot of things in life always, but that was really good. I brought my pastel and she's Stranger. She is also 100% head clown. Stranger originated over with Roland at IRES Reptiles. He got two funky clowns and they started hatching out these Strangers. Strangers is a pattern changer and a little bit of a color enhancer. She gets these really nice gold on her side, which is awesome. So I hatched out her and her two brothers and she is absolutely awesome. Her color is ridiculous, and uh, she gets this killer pat, pulled apart pattern on her side. I love her, she's my favorite. blonde tiger she's about five years old about 80 85 pounds or so um, when they hatch out they hatch out like an amel they go through this gradual temperature shift so like the cooler temperatures they get darker pretty cool yeah she's produced one clutch of eggs for me and yeah that's about it really this is one of my favorite species that I keep this is a male Saltuarius wyberba. It's a uh, type of Australian leaf tail gecko. They are found uh, kind of in cool, moist habitats. They really don't like heat too much. Pretty darn rare and special animals at the lab. We do pretty well with them, but this is an exceptionally patterned animal right here. Gorgeous. And this is one of my favorite species that I work with too. This is an albino Nephurus levis pilbarensis. They're a knobtail gecko from Australia again. Colors are just unbelievable on these things. They don't even look real. You can see his little knob there. They got a little attitude. They think they're tough. Are you gonna cry again? I just like, with just came around over here, I was like, oh my god, I don't. Okay. I get I get some photos. Oh, I was just all of a sudden going nine miles high. Oh my god, I was really hoping to see you here. I really was doubting I was gonna make it to this expo because like it was homecoming week at school. This snake right here is a super orange dream yellow belly, uh, Cinnabongo. So it's one of the coolest snakes that I produced this year. It's a really nice combo, really nice side pattern, and just pretty excited about this uh, orange dream bongo project. One of the favorites from the, from the show this weekend. What I think might be a 
caramel granite zebra jag. Uh, the pairing was a granite zebra to a caramel jag head granite. That's what everybody seems to think what it is, but when it hatched out, it was wicked cool. I think it's gonna get yellower as an adult, um, but I'm excited to see it grow, man. Pretty cool. Mochino anthrax. It was a project that took me quite some time to finally accomplish. So it was a double head to double head, so it was kind of difficult to make. I missed out on the first try, but finally I got them. And I um, think it was worth the wait. So I'm very excited. I think they look awesome. And I couldn't be any happier with how they turned out. I actually made these, I uh, um, just made um, Mochino Mali anthrax because I didn't bring any to the show, but these are turned out really nice, I thought. Hope you guys enjoy them. This is a blackhead dream skull. Got super orange sides. One of the orangest snakes ever. <laughs> He's pretty cool. Probably the most popular snake at the show that I brought. This is the Enchi Leopard Lavender. And it was really shocking to me that it turned out this way because I had no clue. I knew Enchi would bring in a little bit of the pinks and everything in it. But when the leopard combined, it brought this like almost kind of bloody pink looking color to it and just absolutely fascinating and this snake has been the most popular snake at the show at my table because she's just so dang cool really 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 cool and uh, just excited to show you guys this snake here we have a hypo fire labyrinth jungle you can see this guy is just absolutely beautiful on all the color the fire and the labyrinth combined together just made one bizarre animal that really just reduced the fading of the pattern but added just so much color all throughout the animal brought in a ton of these little wee, weird green hues all around on the sides. I really love the way these are developing and I can't wait to see them as six foot adults. Looking professional over here. This is a, about a five year old rhino iguana. Five year old? Yep. He's been on uh, different television shows. We got him from a guy who does, does TV appearances. We got him a, a bigger male and he just couldn't do, do two males. So. What, what's his name? I don't think he has a name right oh, okay. now. Big Max. So I'm here with Dave and Kat. Pretty, pretty much started the show with these guys, and now we're ending the show with these right, guys. Exactly. Yeah. I, I went so, around. I tried to get as much animal stuff as I, as I could. It's been busy. It's been hectic. I've been trying to get interviews. I've been trying to. You guys got. If you haven't, if you weren't here at the show, you should really come and see the madness it is that I'm trying to explain to you right now. <laughs> the whole show is mad. The whole show is. I madness. mean, it's just absolutely a weekend of madness. It's wonderful, though. It is wonderful madness. A very wonderful madness, but it doesn't make well for trying to get things done. All the things that you think you're going to get done at the show, like you just, they, yeah, they don't exactly. get done, right? I've made a hundred plans and I've gone through with five of them. It, it, that's my point. But I hope that we got enough animals for you guys today. Um, I, of course, focused on a lot of ball pythons because I really like ball pythons. Well, that's what but, I'm looking around. I'm looking around at all the ball pythons and I want this and I want that and I want the other thing. And that, everything. Yeah. And there is, a, there is a big amount of ball pythons at the show, right? There's a huge amount of ball pythons I still need show. a ball python. Cat you don't have ball a python? ball python? I do not have a single ball, a ball, ball python. python? I do not. Here is, uh, yeah, I've, I've, I've figured out, python. I was trying to figure out really how I was going to truly end this thing, and I think I found out exactly how, I just need, we need Vin. Vin! 
send us out, bud. Just say, take care of yourselves and take care of each other. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other, man. Ha, 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 ha.